Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Congress members warn Biden about dangers to aerial firefighters. Also, B-29 Diamond Lil returns to flight duty. And next generation pilot vision augmented reality system to be demoed at Oshkosh. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today, so let's go ahead and start with, we are well into the fire season and Congress members warn Biden about dangers to aerial firefighters. Congressman Daryl Issa and the California GOP congressional delegation have called on the Biden administration to immediately act to prevent expected disastrous aviation fuel shortages that could leave California and the Western United States without the critical use of full aerial capabilities to mitigate and overcome regional wildfires. In a letter, the unified delegation called the Secretary of the Interior, Deb Holland, the Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, to address an alarming new report from the Associated Press entitled, Scary, Fuel Shortage Could Ground Firefighting Aircraft, and to provide detailed responses regarding preparations, logistics, prepositioning of resources, and urgent contingency planning needed to allow for robust aerial firefighting capabilities this fire season. The July 12th AP report cited a national interagency fire central official who said fuel shortages were a challenge they have not run into before and that it is a scary thought with all the shortages going on right now. The delegation noted that concerns are especially relevant because the Biden administration has pledged to dramatically reduce the production and use of fossil fuels. After the break, 2021-2022 AEA Pilot's Guide to be unveiled at AirVenture Oshkosh. More news after these messages. AirVenture may be your destination, but shouldn't you also have a great experience during your flight to and from? Battle Creek Executive Airport is the home of Waco Aircraft, the world's leader in new production sport biplanes. Enjoy a beautiful new FBO, extreme fuel discounts, a glimpse into Waco's manufacturing facility, and the gourmet Waco kitchen, an upscale dining experience serving farm-to-table American-European fusion cuisine. Experience AirVenture. Experience Waco. We'll see you on the ramp at KBTL. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. One of Oshkosh's best freebies will return to Whitman Field next week. Published annually by the Aircraft Electronics Association, the 2021-2022 edition of the AEA Pilot's Guide will be unveiled with free distribution at the Experimental Aircraft Association's AirVenture Oshkosh in Wisconsin on July 26th through August 1st. AEA staff members will distribute thousands of complimentary copies to pilots and aircraft owners at AEA's AirVenture booth number 2035-2036 in Hangar B at Whitman Regional Airport. United States Naval Test Pilot School welcomes 50th Commander. Commander Jeremy Silas DeBonds took command of United States Naval Test Pilot School from Lieutenant Colonel Rory Pikey Feely during an airborne change of command ceremony at Pax River on July 15th. DeBonds, who served as USN TPS executive officer for the last 18 months is the commanding officer for USN TPS that did not graduate from the school. He participated in an exchange program with the French test pilot school, another one of the four major test pilot schools around the world. 
First, UH-1Y for international operator in production. Bell has restarted UH-1Y Venom helicopter production for the first international operator. Crestview Aerospace has completed manufacturing the first of eight cabins at the Crestview, Florida facility. The aircraft will complete final assembly at the Bell Amarillo Assembly Center. The helicopters are part of the 2022 U.S. Department of Defense contract awarded to Bell for the production and delivery of eight UH-1Y and four AH-1Z helicopters for the government of Czech Republic. EAA and Siemens to work jointly on youth aviation education. EAA has announced a partnership with Siemens Digital Industry Software to collaboratively grow youth engagement and education in the aviation industry. Siemens will become the official technology partner of EAA for education in aviation and aerospace. This joint effort of EAA and Siemens strains both companies' aviation education programs. EAA Aero Educate brings an interactive educational and engaging experience to the youth while inspiring them on aviation. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. In June, the B-29-B-24 squadron leader Archie Taylor announced that the CAF's B-24 Diamond Lil was ready to roll and ride, crediting the dedicated maintenance team and several donors and sponsors that supported the very rare and oldest flying Liberator while she underwent an extensive project keeping her from touring for about a year and a half. Contracted to be built for France in 1940 and later rededicated to Great Britain as AM-927, this Liberator was the 25th built out of a total of 18,482 B-24s. Following extensive testing of the landing gear, engine and system testing and crew training, B-24 Diamond Lil joined her sister Bomber, the B-29 Fifi on the Air Power History Tour. Aircraft accompanying the B-29 and B-24 will include the World War II aircraft such as the P-51 Mustang, the B-17 Flying Fortress, and the B-25 Mitchell, along with an assortment of fighters, trainers, and liaison aircraft. Diamond Lil will remain on tour with stops and ride opportunities coming up in Wisconsin, South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, and Oklahoma before returning back to her home to participate in the CAF Wings over Dallas World War II Air show on October 29th until the 31st. After these messages, Next Generation Pilot Vision Augmented Reality System to be demoed at Oshkosh. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Next generation Pilot Vision augmented reality system to be demoed at Oshkosh. Adventure Pilot is partnering with SA Photonics for demonstrations for its next generation Pilot Vision display at next week's Air Venture festivities. The system is reportedly a high resolution wide field of view, daylight readable color head mountain display that attaches to aviation headgear, providing pilots with added situational awareness. The Pilot Vision system interfaces wirelessly with an Adventure Pilot iFly GPS electronic flight bag, providing a heads up display that contains information on altitude, attitude, speed, terrain, traffic, airspaces, and many other pieces of flight data 
in a heads up, eyes out manner. Users can continue to use their existing iPad, Android, or Windows Display hardware running iFly GPS and can seamlessly add on the Pilot Vision HUD. We are proud to share our synthetic vision technology with SA Photonics, notes Walter Boyd, president of Adventure Pilot. The reliability, flexibility, and the proven safety benefits of this technology are very apparent when viewed in the brilliant Pilot Vision heads-up display. The self-contained Pilot Vision display does not need to be integrated with aircraft wiring and can be easily deployed and removed from an aircraft in a matter of seconds. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with store ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.